Hello creators, Victor here with a quick tutorial for those new to Create Studio Pro. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a brief text animation over a colored rectangular banner, similar to this example. The animation we just watched is already here on the timeline. I will play it once again for you to see it one more time. Without any further ado, let's start building this animation over here, from scratch. First, I will need a rectangle shape, which I'll bring it here on the canvas. I will slightly reduce its size and center it. I will just rename this one as mask. This will serve as the mask of the group where all the other components of the animation will reside. Next, I will duplicate the rectangle shape to make a copy and change its color to red. This red copy will serve as the banner beneath the animated text. I will rename this one as Red Background. While the red rectangle is still selected, I will go here on the right and change its anchor point to the middle left. This will help with the red rectangle animation that I am about to do in a moment. With the red rectangle selected, I will add a motion animation. I select Scale, Scale Up. For the easing, I will choose Expo. I click here to open the advanced settings and for the zoom wide, I will set it at 100%. This will make my rectangle to scale up only on the Y axis, meaning horizontally. This is what the scale up animation will look like. Now that the banner is all set, I'll need a text. So let's bring in a text element. I change the font to this Modak font from the font library. Type in my desired word. I will set the letter spacing to 0 and increase the size to about 385%. Let's bring the text element here to have it aligned with the other elements on the timeline. I'll just select all and extend them a little bit here like this. And now I will also change the anchor point for the text element to the middle left. To animate the text, I will need a motion preset. I will have position and select top. Here on the motion settings, I will change the Y position to 40%. Choose to animate by letter and here forward is what I need. Letter offset I'll leave as it is and the easing I will change to expo. Now I go back to preset settings. Click here on the advanced settings and change the zoom X and Y values to 50%. And now, let's see how this will animate. Okay, now that I have the text all set with animation, I will select both the text and the red rectangle. And by using Ctrl G on Windows or Command G on Mac, I'll group them together. Right click on the group and select to rename it. Now I select the group I just created and the mask below. With a right click, I will choose to mask the group with the mask. If I play it a little bit, everything looks great. But let's take a look at the reference animation once again. All good so far except that here, we have a tilted banner with text. So, how can we achieve that in our text banner animation? Pay a close attention, positioning my mouse over here at the bottom of the group and I press shift key and hold. Notice that the single arrow turns into a double sided arrow. This means that when I press and hold the shift key and I drag the bottom edge of the group to the left, I can alter the shape aspect of this group with everything inside including the text element. This is super cool. I'll bring my mouse here at this corner and just rotate the group a little bit and place it in the center. Let's play it one more time to make sure everything is okay. Now if I go inside the group, notice that everything is in place and it looks straight and not tilted.
one more thing I need to do is to add a custom animation like the one we have on the reference. Having the group selected, I click here to add a custom animation. I'll choose scale and for easing I select expo. Now moving my playhead on the second keyframe of the custom animation, I will open properties and I am changing the scale value to 40. This will create a nice zoom out effect. Now about that tilting technique I just demonstrated on the banner group, I just want to show you that it is working with any shape. So if I bring in a circle on the canvas and I go to the bottom edge, press and hold shift key and drag to the left, I will get a very different circle an oval one. Also, if I bring in a triangle on the canvas and I go to the right edge, press and hold shift key and drag down, I will get a different kind of triangle. You can apply this tilting to any shape. Let's just delete these. And now let's change the canvas color to white and take another look at our final animation. Very simple animation yet a very impressive one with high impact. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to be notified for my upcoming tutorials. Also go and check other videos on my channel to discover more helpful tutorials about Create Studio Pro. Thank you for watching and have fun creating.